centre-back partnership in Europe. And Haaland's obviously the most lethal finisher, so that's the key for me. Well, I think we just saw him at the top of the shot there, Kevin De Bruyne. He's the one, but you think about it, you've got Phil Foden, you've got Bernardo Silva, you've got good one, you've got four number tens on the pitch. Good luck, Dortmund, trying to stop all of them. Oh, there's so much talent out there this evening, so sit back on your sofa, enjoy this one. It's time for the Champions League quarter-final in the company of Jermaine Genus and Ian Dark. Thank you very much indeed, Jake, and good evening, everybody. Yep, this could be very good indeed, but do Manchester City have a bit of a psychological hurdle to overcome here? Knocked out at this stage in the last three years. Winning the Champions League has become a holy grail for them, and they've got to stop this guy, Erling Haaland, the hottest young talent in European football. Dortmund. Haaland to Bellingham. Great effort from the former Birmingham City man and a smart save from Edison, one he would have expected to make, but there's a threat coming here. And then Emre Chan bulldozing his way through. And it's going to be a corner kick as well. Dort the back. And that's Hummers. Bellingham caught a bit late there by Gunduan. It's a good play. Really good play. Haaland is always an option. Foden to play it across the face of goal, Mares. Had to stretch for it, and De Bruyne is there to put Manchester City ahead. And that all came from a mistake by Emre Can in midfield. And City pounced, and pounced quickly and clinically. And Pep Guardiola's side take the lead. It is a big test now for Dortmund. Bellingham with the challenge there, which he thought was fair, but the referee didn't on John Stones. Bernardo Silva here, looking to turn, Maris looking to pass it in as he does so often with that left foot, but there's a block this time. Brilliant play, the touch from Bernardo Silva. And uh, we're about to get the half-time whistle. The referee might be quite glad as well for a bit of a break himself. He had some big decisions to make there. Pep Guardiola has his side ahead here. Kevin De Bruyne with the cool finish. It was all that you can see the highlights of this match along with the game between Real Madrid and Liverpool along with the games that are happening tomorrow evening Porto Chelsea and Bayern against PSG in our highlight show tomorrow night um, look we're only a quarter of the way through this tie um, there's a lot of football still to be played City can't be at all complacent because there is a threat problems and giving them enough to think about in this second half and I suppose Holland in a race for the ball here he's powerful he's got to it and that's a big save from Edison because the tall striker had his first sniff and City would have been fearing the worst there. Wow. It was well found by Bellingham. Haaland tries to poke that on. And there's a free kick going to be given here right on the edge of the box for Dortmund for that challenge on the big striker. As well. Plenty of options as that's played back. And Foden's effort is blocked on the line, and then Cancelo wildly behind. Massive chance. Of course, one of them. And he can line up one here. And it whistles, what, a foot or so wide. Oh. He's so powerful when he's moving like that. And the only surprise here is that this don't nestle into the bottom corner. Because he has time to really line it up and pick his spot. Just dragged it slightly. He's just trying. Starting to appear, what a lovely ball that is. Foden! Hits makes the save, it bounces out. And he's just as well for him that Humos was first on the scene to smack it away. A chance, but not before this attack. Foden with more electric work, and he can't get his shot right. But he's been going through that defence like a hot knife through butter at times. Young man as well, Haaland round the corner, Royce is in here! And they've got their away goal, Marco Royce! Strikes for Borussia Dortmund, and that's a dagger to the heart of Manchester City. It is, but they've been capable of it all game. Gunduan and put in by Phil Foden. Manchester City have the lead, last minute of the 90. He's deserved it. He's been brilliant all night, and now he's capped it with a goal. Big, big goal for City. Kevin De Bruyne, he, he's just too good, he really is, in their biggest moment, 
look at this for a pass when it comes back. And that is it. Manchester City will take a 2-1 lead to Germany next week. Classy game, quality game here. Dortmund always looked a threat in that game. As usual, Manchester City had most of the ball, and the star turn really was Phil Foden on the night, though. Kevin De Bruyne would have run him close with a goal, and a beautiful ball, which helped to set up the winner. A warm welcome to all joining us as the final four of the champ. Really looking forward to a mouth-watering prospect tonight. Yeah, they are only numbers. They don't tell us what we're going to see tonight, but... In Champions League history, the side winning the first leg of a knockout tie 2-1 at home has been eliminated more times than they've progressed. As I said, only numbers. It's all about what these players can do on this stage this evening. The referee is Carlo. Now has a problem. Haaland tees up the shot. Billingham has it now. And Billingham has scored brilliantly. What a finish that is from the 17-year-old took the reach of Edison. Advantage Borussia Dortmund. What a strike. I thought Edison should have saved it. He got a good hand to it, but he just couldn't keep it out of the top corner. Excellent work from Erling Haaland. Gets the ball. More intercepts and then loses the ball to De Bruyne. Oh. Hits was beaten. And the follow-up is put wide by Bernardo Silva. Manchester City players appeal for a penalty for a push as the Portuguese flung himself at the ball. Shot, it's him. Straight against the head of Marco Royce, corner. Dortmund skipper is well and truly pumped up. We saw that at the end of the chapter. Foden keeps the ball alive. And in comes Moraes. He'd beaten hits. But he hadn't beaten the player behind him. Born and bred Dortmund fan, born 30 kilometres away in Menden, attended his first game at this stadium, age nine. It's all there, the romantic side of the story. Wide. De Bruyne. No more time, nothing added on. Well, this game has taken the twist that Borussia Dortmund wanted it to take. Welcome back to a game that is encapsulating the excitement, the unpredictability, the fine margins of the UEFA Champions League. Borussia Dortmund behind at the start, find themselves ahead in the tie thanks to one goal. In all competitions, it is a club record. And Mares fires in emphatically. Manchester City draw level in Dortmund and go ahead in the Champions League quarter-final. That took nerves of steel from... ...at the moment, as Royce puts it in and it's headed towards goal and only just over. Mats Hummels up there. Do you know, had a great shape on that strike from the challenge. Made that look easy and De Bruyne goes on! Oh and brings the save from Marvin Hitz. Great run. Brilliant work from De Bruyne. That's... That was perfect. He waited. Now here's Foden, who lets fly! Yes! And scores! And that will do it for Manchester City! It is their young crown prince, Philip Foden. Just wonder if that little shake of the head there from Mark. Haaland, it's a rocket, but the rocket took off. Zinchenko there, just conceding possession in a dangerous area. That will do it for Manchester City. They have got rid of their Champions League quarter-final bogey under Pep Guardiola. Not without a huge scare. Edin Terzic's Dortmund in front at half time through 17 year old sensation Jude Bellingham. You knew it would be hard.